Gerslings, the situation with the Doherty Dozen and their management company continues in that they continue to maintain their position that my video, the Doherty Dozen's mini fridges are so bad for her kids, does not meet the requirements of fair use, that I am, in their words, breaking the law. Worse, they continue to threaten a lawsuit if I do not agree to their terms. They have also claimed that the video in question includes threats to and against the Doherty Dozen, that I have endangered their safety, and that the video was filled with derogatory remarks and was basically bullying her. They also claim that the video, which had 6,200 views over three months, had had a negative impact on her income, cost her brand deals, and diminished her so-called market value. Now we know that's BS. So for today's video, I thought I'd read the script I wrote for the video claimed by the Doherty Dozen and Sun and Sky Entertainment as breaking copyright law, and I will let you decide if it was threatening or endangered the Doherty Dozen or any of the other nonsense claims that they have made. So let's get into it, shall we? Hi, Curslings. Today, we're talking about the Doherty Dozen's mini fridges. Now, for those of you who don't know, Alicia Doherty bought her 11 kids mini fridges for Christmas 2023 for, in my opinion, the purposes of content creation, because why else would a five-year-old need a mini fridge? Specifically, Alicia bought one of her kids one of these 10-liter Kalluli mini fridges, which you can get for the low, low price of $125 Canadian. The Kalluli mini fridges are described as a 12-volt portable cooler slash warmer for food, drinks, skincare, beauty, and makeup, with the key word here being cooler. Their coolers. As according to the product description, these fridges are only, read that wrong, as according to the product description, these fridges only cool to 20 to 22 degrees Celsius below the ambient temperature of the room. So let's say, in the summer, the temperature in the kids' rooms on the second floor usually sits around 25 degrees Celsius. Those fridges will be around 5 degrees inside, 3 maybe, and that's only after it's had a chance to cool down, which means plugging them in and allowing them to run for a while. For comparison, a standard refrigerator usually sits around 3 degrees Celsius regardless, so yeah, they're basically coolers without the ice. Good enough to keep some drinks cold or some snacks or fancy cosmetics or anything that might melt, or would just fare better in a temperature-controlled environment. They are not something that I would necessarily keep food in that requires proper refrigeration. Never mind the fact that there's really no reason for those kids to have food that requires requires proper refrigeration in their bedrooms to begin with, but I digress. So, Alicia gets her kids content mini fridges for Christmas, whatever. Then, at the end of January, she posts this TikTok roll call, where she asks each of her kids what they want in their mini fridges. Not long after this, about a week or so, she does a Walmart haul and purchases all of the requested snacks. This haul would piss a lot of people off because barely two weeks before this, she'd posted two other massive candy hauls, one from the Dollar Tree on the 25th of January and another from Walmart on the 29th where she also bought the 11 infamous three pound chocolate bars, plus a bunch of other junk, because why not? So people were already in a mood. Then the mini fridge restock vlog comes out where Alicia Doherty lines up all 11 of those mini fridges onto her dining room table, unplugged, so room temperature, and proceeds to clean and stock them with the aforementioned snacks, claiming that it was just easier to do it this way, and not because it would make for better content when she sped up the footage and what have you. And this is where people lost their minds, because it is just so excessive and unnecessary, especially when it came to things like cooked steak chunks, which she seemed to pack into room temperature mini fridges without properly cooling down first. Just look at that condensation. Yikes. Then there's the frozen mochi, which would absolutely melt in those mini fridges, not to mention that there are other types of mochi out there that she could have bought for Zed. I'm partial to these ones myself, but to be fair, that would have required shopping outside of her comfort zone, like at an Asian market, which Alicia didn't even bother to do for her around the world nightmares. So why would she do it now? It doesn't make sense. Anyway, Turns out, filling 11 mini fridges full of junk food was a bridge too far for a lot of Alicia supporters, and her comments were quickly filled with outrage, condemnation, and shocked horror, as the staggering amount of junk food that she'd purchased in that three-week span contradicted the things that she had previously said about her children's dietary needs, like in this TikTok. So what did Alicia do about the backlash? She took the video down. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She decided to troll us with this TikTok, because that is the 
the correct response, obviously. Totally what everyone was saying. Now, on one hand, I personally found this TikTok response to be funny, but not funny in the way Alicia was hoping for. Don't get me wrong. I like shady, snarky, bitchy Alicia, love it. But this was funny because it missed the point by a frickin' mile. And because she went out and purchased a ton of fruit and produce to basically get back at the haters with. Oh no, not the fruit. How dare you torture us with healthy food. I can't. <laughs> but help but laugh. Alicia Doherty got so bothered by all of the negative feedback that she was receiving that she actually went to a store and bought a ton of fruit. Then she came home, went and unplugged every single one of those mini fridges, dragged them back into the dining room, lined them all up on the table, and then filmed herself sarcastically shoving fruit into them. To make fun of us or to like show us how um, bothered she is? Question mark? Because that'll teach us, I guess. I love it. I love it so much because she trolled herself. She did. She trolled herself. She got so upset that she made another TikTok to get back at us with. Anyway, this was also not well received because why would it be? She just proved that she doesn't care about what anyone says and worse, that she'll even go out of her way to mock it. Not only that, it's obvious from this original vlog that Alicia legitimately made this content thinking it was going to go over well. At no point did she see any issues with what she was doing and how it might be received by her audience. Not with the initial roll call, or even the purchasing of those mini fridges, or with the shopping hall so close to other massive shopping halls of junk food, or the restock video. She was oblivious to that for some reason, and possibly even patting herself on the back. I 100% think that she actually thought this was a really great idea, and that is why she had a frickin' meltdown when she was slammed by outraged comments, because she didn't expect people to feel so strongly about it. So she threw a fit. After all, Alicia Doherty has admitted to having a short temper. A very funny temper tantrum, but a tantrum all the same, because deep down, I think that Alicia knows that we're right, that this is problematic, and a massive departure from the values she was shilling just a couple years ago. But instead of course correcting, Alicia does what she always does. She doubles down. She digs in her heels and chooses to hold the problematic stance of, I'm not the problem they are. Because they're jealous. They're just haters who will complain no matter what I do. So what's the point? Instead of, oh, I don't know, taking a step back and evaluating why people reacted the way they did and what of that reaction was actually worth taking into consideration. So it was completely unsurprising to me when Alicia Doherty recently put out another mini fridge roll call on TikTok. Because the stakes weren't already high enough, now we're going to add spaghetti into the mix for the lulls. Alicia posting this roll call just proves to me that these fridges are not for the kids. They never were. In my opinion, this is about content content that she can use her shopping halls and restock vlogs to facilitate. And the reason that I think this is because of a behind the scenes clip that was shared to the Doherty Dozen exposed subreddit by Dry Cartographer. Also, as an aside, where the hell is she posting these behind the scenes clips? Because I cannot find the source material, granted I am blocked on Facebook, so maybe it's there? Someone let me know. Anyway, as Dry Cartographer points out, it seems like Alicia is coaching the kids in this clip, which is giving big ick energy. And the thing is, this isn't even the first time Alicia has coached or seemingly pressured her kids into doing these roll calls, as evidenced by this roll call that was posted at the beginning of January. Little B is clearly having a rough time in this one. Why? Who can say? But keep in mind that this is also the edited version of whatever Alicia was filming, whatever was actually happening. So who knows what it was like when the camera wasn't rolling? What was being said? Why he was upset? Why anything was happening? We don't know. But it's heartbreaking to just even see traces of the actual truth. The reality of her kids and her content without seemingly any shame or concern on Alicia's part for how it will come across to her audience. Never mind the fact that it's not even necessary to make these, and the only reason that they do these is because Alicia needs variety in her content. And this is one of the ways she creates variety, same as why now mini fridges are part of her content rotation. And judging by how the kids are dressed and appear in this roll call from January 1st, and this roll call from the end of January, I want to believe, or at least hope, 
that she bulk films these on the same day, just to get it out of the way, which would at least partially account for the tears. It's gotta be exhausting. But who really knows, you know? Even still, ugh, it's ugh, it's icky, to make your kids do stuff for content like that, especially stuff that they might not want to do. It couldn't be me. And it just proves my point. And it just proves my point and what everyone has been saying for years, that Alicia Doherty only cares about making content at this point in her platform. This is no longer about her kids' well-being, or even bringing awareness to special needs children or the foster care system like Alicia originally positioned herself to be doing. Because if it was still about that, advocacy, awareness, etc., she wouldn't be stuffing mini fridges full of candy and pop or buying her children individual pints of ice cream for a St. Patrick's Day themed video like she recently did in this TikTok. Especially after claiming that some of her kids are lactose intolerant, she wouldn't buy them three pound chocolate bars with a shit ton of other candy like she did on Valentine's Day. She wouldn't consider McDonald's an afternoon snack, nor would she maintain an endless supply of snack food in an overflowing pantry that she routinely stocks for, you guessed it, more content. And don't get me wrong, there is nothing wrong with keeping snacks in your house. There is nothing wrong with keeping foods in your home that are safe for your children, that you know that they'll always eat. 100% support that. But this isn't that. And as far as I can tell, Alicia Doherty is the only large family vlogger that is constantly purchasing large quantities of actual junk food. I'm talking candy, chips, chocolate, for her family. And I am tired people like her ardent supporters pretending like this isn't abnormal. It is. It is. It absolutely is. I am a neurodivergent mother with a neurodivergent child. I understand the struggle. I do. But even for me, this is wild. This is too much. And not only is it not normal, it's harmful. And it's clearly being done for a paycheck, as demonstrated by this recent rage baiting TikTok. Because that's all this is content opportunities and a paycheck, in my humble opinion. Anyway, that's it for me. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think Alicia buys too much chocolate, candy, chips, or am I just overreacting? I don't know. I want to thank everyone for liking, commenting, and subscribing, with special thanks to my new members, Kels, Bells, and Laura. You guys are rad. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye! That's